In this lecture, we will explore REST Enable SQL, which allows you to expose SQL queries or PL SQL blocks as RESTful services. This feature provides a straightforward method for interacting with the database using HTTP methods, making it easy to integrate SQL based operations into applications. As you experienced in the previous lectures, the REST data source is designed to work with a single table specified during the service creation process on the source server. This limitation arises from the nature of REST data source, which maps a RESTful API endpoint to a specific table. In contrast, REST enabled SQL offers more flexibility in accessing and manipulating data. It enables developers to execute SQL statements against a remote database, allowing them to select and work with multiple tables as needed. This flexibility is particularly useful for complex data manipulation tasks involving multiple tables or requiring dynamic data selection. Let's practically demonstrate this scenario. Here, I will be using two separate schemas in different workspaces. Auratech 69 is the source schema whose database objects will be shared. TechMining69 is running on another Apex instance and will consume database objects from Auratech69. First, we will register the Auratech schema to enable it for use with ORDS RESTful services. I am providing CFWS as the schema alias. Now switch to the tech mining instance. Go to shared components and select the rest enable SQL option. Enter a name and the endpoint URL for this service. Note that here we didn't append any database object to the schema alias, meaning that all schema objects will be accessible. On the authentication screen, I provided the credentials for my Auratex schema. The REST enable SQL service is created successfully, and now we can use objects from the source schema. Create an interactive report with a form to test the service. In the data source section, select the REST enable SQL service and choose the CFWS schema alias. As you can see, you can select any table from this remote schema and define custom SQL to fetch data from multiple tables. For this exercise, I will select the EMP table. Keeping the EMP number column as the primary key, click the Create Page button. Run the report page. The data from the remote schema appears on the report. Modify and save a record. The data is successfully updated. 
verify this update in the remote schema. Test the service by creating a new record. Finally, test the deletion process. That's it. Using REST enable SQL allows you to expose specific SQL queries or PL SQL blocks as RESTful services, providing flexibility for uh, clients to access different parts of the schema. However, you must carefully manage security and ensure that access is controlled and restricted based on business requirements.